you know, um, there with me, you know, um, in the book of Matthew. I'd like you to, to very book Matthew, Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, 30. Okay, Matthew chapter 11, verse 29 and 30. Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, 30. You know, um, the Bible says that in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, 29, 30, come unto me, all you that, all you uh, that labor and are heavy, laden, laden, and I will give you rest. Um, come to me, okay? Come to me, all you that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest into, into your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You know, God was, the Holy Spirit was talking to me about this verse, you know, the when two weeks ago, and Jesus was talking to me that to minister in this chapter in you know about Jesus the son of the living God because in the end times where we are we are living now we have a lot of problems calamity you know and the people you know must hear the good news and the good news is Jesus Christ you know the people the preachers the pastors the prophets teachers they must focus on somebody Jesus, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. So I understand in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, 29, 30, it starts with the verb come. It starts with the verb come. I, as I am an English teacher, I understand that come, it can mean an invitation. Come, it can mean I will accept you. Come, it can mean I will open an opportunity for you. Come, it can mean this. And I was asking the Lord to give me, you know, many revelations about this. Come, the Lord said, that, "Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest." The one that is making less like this, that's that's making you this invitation. It's not somebody that can lie. It is not somebody that can promise you something and not do it. As he cannot lie and he calls you, he makes you this invitation to come. Come. You can come. You can believe in him. You can trust Jesus and come. He's calling you. If Jesus is calling you, if Jesus is, you know, making you this invitation, it is because he wants to have a personal encounter with you. It is because he wants to do things that people are not able to do in your life. Come. He says, come to me, you that are heavy laden. Come to me, you that are tired. Come to me, you that have problems you cannot solve. Because me, Jesus, I'm a problem solver. I can solve your problem. I can give you the, the, the solution of all the problems that you that you have. You all the all the all the solution solutions of all your problems, you know, all the answers of all your prayers, things that you cannot carry by yourself. Jesus is calling you, he's he, he's, he's, he's calling you and ask you to come. You come to him. When when the Bible says that, come unto me, all you that labor. In our worry laden, and I will give you rest. You can trust him. Because the rest that Jesus is going to give you is not, is not a rest in death, in death, let's say not in died, in death, but it is a rest in life. Come to him, he's calling you. Why Jesus touched my heart with this? It is because Jesus is calling somebody tonight. It is Jesus is after somebody tonight. It is because Jesus wants, wants, to, wants to do something, you know, great into the life of somebody that is watching me now. He's calling you. He said, come to me. 
But he want to he want you to say yes, Jesus, just like in in Isaiah chapter six verse eight nine say, "Here I am." But if Jesus is calling you, you can trust him, because Jesus is not looter. He's not going to promise you something that he cannot do, or he's not going to trick you, or he's not going to give you false promise, because Jesus is the Son of the Living God. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Jesus knows everything. He's omniscient. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. He's calling you, come to me. Probably is the best moment for you that is watching me now to take a decision and follow Christ. He's calling you people. He's calling you. He's asking you to come to me. Come to me. You that are letting you that are worried about your life. You that don't know what to do. You that don't know which, which kind of decision that I got to do. But he's calling you. He's going to free you from sins. He's going to free you from boundaries. He's calling you. He said, come to me. And he would like to listen to, to your answers tonight. He would like to, to listen. He would like to hear from you. He would like you to take a decision because he's calling you. You know, in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, 9, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8 and 9, it says like this. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Here you ended, but understand not. And see you ended, but perceive not. Jesus is calling you, and he would like you to say just like this, here I am, send me. He would like to hear from you, I'm ready to go. He would like to hear from you, I'm ready to do what you have called me to do. He would like to hear from you tonight, I'm ready to be saved. I'm ready to accept you as my personal savior. Because I know without Jesus, there is no salvation. Salvation doesn't exist without Jesus. You that is watching me now, if you understand English, I want to tell you something. Jesus is calling you. The same way he called me, he chose me, he anointed me, he gave me tools, he gave me everything to preach the word of God. He wants you to do the same thing like me. But the first thing is he is sending you an invitation tonight. And the letter says, come to me. He knows more than you. He knows what you're going through. Jesus knows what you cannot say to people. Jesus knows how many times you cry at night. He knows that. He knows your sadness. He knows your depression. And he asking you tonight, come to me. You shall have rest. It's only in Jesus you can have rest. Come to me and I shall give you rest. That rest is everlasting rest. Come to me. I will bless you abundantly. Come to me. Take my yoke upon you. You don't need to be worried about my yoke. My yoke is easy. The Bible says that, the Bible says that, it says, come to me because my yoke is easy. Don't worry about them. And you know, in Isaiah chapter one, verse 18, 19, Isaiah chapter one, verse 18, 19, you know, God was talking to me and said to me, Luger, many people sometimes, they don't want to come because of their sins. They don't want to come because of something they are practicing. They don't want to come because they think that they don't have any valuable in the eyes of God. But Jesus paid everything at the cross. Don't worry about what you did yesterday. God is not going to charge you for anything you did in the past. But he just wants you to come. And will make your sins clean. Come. He will wash away your sins. Because my Bible says that in Isaiah chapter 1, 1819, Isaiah chapter 1, 1819, come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. 
do your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Do they, they, they might be like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the, the best fruit of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Guys, God is, Jesus is calling you. He's calling you. Don't be rebel about his voice. This invitation is not only for the white people. This invitation is not only for the black people. This invitation is not only for the tall people. It's not only for the short people. This invitation is for everybody. When the Bible, so when Jesus says in the Bible, come to me, he's calling everybody, everybody, no exception, everybody, everybody. He's, uh, he's waiting for you to come. I don't know how many times that, that Jesus has been calling you and you are rebuilt about his word. Either you don't understand the word or either you reject the word. But Jesus is, a, is a, Jesus is a good man. Jesus is, is the perfect love. He still can give you a second chance to experience his power. Jesus can give you a second chance to experience his glory. Jesus can give you the second chance tonight. He's calling you. He says to you, come to me. I will wash away your sins. I don't care about the color they are. Your sins may, may, be, may be as red as scarlet. Your sins may be as scarlet. They may be as red like crimson. But Jesus is going to make them white again. Oh my God, I love this song. This worship came into my mind. The worshiper was singing and said that. What can wash away my sins? Well. I'm not a good singer, but I will try. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Don't care about your sins, but you have to care about the blood of Jesus that has power, that has power, that has power to clean them, that has power to make him white as snow. Jesus is able to do it. He's calling you. Please, you have to answer this call. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, 19, maybe you might be somebody that, that, that miss forgiveness. You say, wow, I've done too many bad things. I believe God is not going to hear my prayer. No, God is not a man that can lie, nor son of the man that can repent. If he, if, he, if he does this promise in the Bible, he will respect it because Jesus respect the word in the Bible. Jesus, res God respect the promise. God respect his promise. If he's calling you, it is because he needs you and he wants you to be new again. So why he's calling you? I was asking God so many questions. This invitation, come to me, come to me. Come to me. This invitation, come to me. Come to me. You that are, that are tired of problems, come to me. Let me carry your problems. Come to me. I'm able to, to solve all those problems. It's an invitation of all people, everybody, all race, all nations, all tongues, is for everybody. No matter who you are, if you don't have Jesus, he's calling you tonight. No matter how rich you are, if you don't have Jesus, he's calling you tonight. Your money cannot take you to heaven. Your contact cannot make you to heaven. You can have much power on earth. But my Bible says that, Jesus says that in the Bible, all powers have given unto me from heaven on earth under the earth, all powers. It's only one person that can take you to heaven is Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And he's the light of the world. It's only him. He's calling you, brother. So when he says that, come to me, he doesn't focus 
about those things, race, nations, all things. He doesn't focus. He doesn't matter where you're from. Because when Jesus said to me, Luja, I'm calling my people, come to me, because we are at the end times. Come to me, because Jesus is coming back soon. Come to me. Sooner or later, Jesus is coming back to become the church. The rapture, arrebatamento, the rapture is, is close. The rapture, you don't know when Jesus is coming. He might come tomorrow. He might come next week. He might come next month. He might come next year. You don't know the date. You don't know the day. You don't know the time. You better, you better accept Jesus tonight. Because the Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he has given his only begotten son. This only begotten son is not for God, it's for you. For our sins to be forgiven. He's calling, is this man that's calling you tonight? It's not me, Luther, that is calling you tonight, but it's Jesus, the son of the living God. It's Jesus that is able to save. He's calling you tonight. He said, come to me. Come to me. It doesn't matter what you've been doing. He's calling you. You have been invited. Because it's only Jesus that can find a rest for you. It's only, it's only in the name of Jesus you can find a rest. It's only in Jesus you can feel comfortable. Believe me. Believe me. It's only in Jesus. You can have everything. But if you miss Jesus, brother, if you miss Jesus, sister, you miss everything. Because Jesus is life. Come to me. Luther, what does that mean, come to me? Because come to me, he's been calling you in a greater level. Come to me. Maybe he's calling you in, an, in an, an, another dimension. Come to me, you that is desperate. Come to me, you that, that lost hope. Come to me, you that has been rejected. Because I have been rejected for you. I have been rejected for you to be accepted. I took your shame. I paid the price of the cross. Hallelujah. And I've been calling you tonight, come to me. It's me that saved you. It's me that gave you life. It's in me that has life and not a simple life. I, I have I give life, abundant life. It's for the reason I've been calling you tonight, come to me. Jesus is calling you, brothers and sisters. Come to me, you that can't take it anymore. You that cannot resist anymore. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know what is hurting you now. I don't know what is eating you inside. But Jesus has the solution. Maybe you have a sickness. You don't know what to do. Doctors don't have any answer. But Jesus has the answer. But he's asking you to come to me. Accept me tonight. And I shall set you free. Hallelujah. Come to me. Take my yoke upon you. My yoke might look, you know, might, might, might look heavy. My yoke might look something that has no valuable. Or my yoke might make you afraid. But you believe me, you can come to me and learn, learn of me, learn from me. I'm someone that knows you more than you, than you know yourself. No matter how much you know yourself, but our Jesus, my Jesus, the one that I accepted in 2009, he knows you more than you know yourself. And since I knew, and since I've known Jesus, I can't regret that I made this decision. I can't regret, I cannot be, I cannot say I'm sorry that I took this decision. I cannot say I'm sorry that I accepted this invitation. The same one that gave me life, the same one that gave me salvation, the same one that has done all things in my life, protect my life, 
He's been calling you tonight. He's been calling you tonight. He's saying, come to me. This is the invitation. What you've been waiting for to come. What you've been waiting for to accept this invitation. What you've been waiting for to accept, to, to, to say that Jesus is Christ. What you've been waiting for to, to say that there's no way, there's no other way. Jesus is the way. He's not a way. He is the way. Come to me. He's been calling you tonight. It is an invitation. Come to me. I will fill up your need. There are some needs you have. Your money can fill them up. But there is only, there's a need. Only Jesus that can fill it up. Only Jesus that can fill it up. Come to me. Come to me, Luja. Tell my people, come to me. They shall have life. Not a simple life. Not a miserable life. But a life where they can have joy. Jesus said to me, Luja, it's only me that can give joy. Jesus said to me, Luther, joy is a fruit of the spirit. Joy is a fruit of the spirit. Nobody can give it to you. Nothing can give it to you. Only Jesus that can give it to you. He says to me, Luther, tell my people, come to me, and I'll fill, the, fill, them, fill them up with joy. Would you like to be joyful like me? You need to accept this invitation tonight. One day, a friend was talking to me and saying, Luger, you are so happy. What's, what's going on? You are so happy. You know, he, she, doesn't, she doesn't understand. I don't have happiness, but I have joy. No matter what is going through with me, with me at night, but my Bible says joy comes in the morning. I have joy in my life. Whatever problem I have, whatever problems can come, Depression can come, but Jesus that gives me joy, that joy gives me strength. That joy that Jesus gives me is stronger than problems, is stronger than sadness. I'm joyful every day. Why? Because I accepted this invitation. This invitation that Jesus makes in Matthew 11, 28, 30. Matthew 11, 28, 30. This invitation, this letter, when Jesus sent this letter to me, I accepted, accepted this letter. And I agreed that to be called the son of the son of God in Jesus' name. It's for the reason I'm happy like that. I am, I have joy like this. This is the secret. Jesus makes me, makes me, makes me give me joy. I'm joyful in the name of Jesus. Come to me. It's only Jesus that can give you peace, brother. Come to Jesus. He will shall give you peace. The Holy Spirit was talking to me about peace. About, about, he says to me, Luther, it's only Jesus. People can have peace. Jesus is a peacemaker. He makes peace. He brings peace into your life. He's not going to give you law. He's not Moses. But he's going to give you peace. Jesus is going to give you peace. The person that is calling you is not a president. It's, it's Jesus, the president of the president. <laughs> he's not a king. He's the king of kings. He's not a boss. He's the boss of the boss. It's Jesus, man. He's calling you, brother. He said, come to me. Come to me. I will make something new in your life. Come to me. I will use you. Come to me. I will anoint it. I will anoint you with oil. Come to me. You will be selected. Come to me. I will set you apart. Come to me. I will protect you. He's calling you tonight, people. Come to me. Come to me. He's calling you tonight. In this calling, come to me. Because Jesus is the only one. Peace. This is the only one that can set you free. This is the only one that can give you freedom. Who the Son of God set free, he has been free indeed. That's what the Bible says. I want to say that another way. Whoever that is free, 
in the name of Jesus, he is really free. He is free forever. He's really free. No more. No more boundaries. He's free indeed. It's only one person that can set you free. It's Jesus. Come to me. He's calling you tonight. He's going to, he can, you know, Jesus can free you, can free you from slavery. One day you can sing like me. I'm no more a slave to fear, but I'm the child of God. You know, he's not going to call you my servant. He's going to call you my friend. Would you like Jesus to call you my friend? When, when people talk about you, when angels talk about you, when God talks about you, when Jesus talks about you, they're not going to say your name. They're going to say, my friend. He want to have a friendship with you. He want to have an intimate relationship with you that is watching me now tonight. But he's calling you. Only one thing you have to say, I believe, I confess his name with my mouth, and I believe in my heart, he's the son of the living God. I'm ready to follow him. He's calling you, brother, come to me. He will free you from your enemies. Sometimes your enemies are not people you can see, they are invisible. Sometimes your enemies are not visible, they are invisible. You don't know how many people that, is, that are planning a plot to destroy you. Physically, morally, spiritually. You don't know. You don't know how many demons, principalities that are after you. You don't know. But if your life is hidden in Jesus, he will free you from those things. If you accept this calling tonight, he will free you from your enemies. Only one thing you have to say, accept this man as my savior. Come to me. Jesus is calling you. Come to me. Luger, if I accept this, what's going to happen? Luger, come to me. Come to me. If I accept this invitation, brother, Jesus will free you from your enemies. He will free you from slavery. He will free you from boundaries. He will free you from sickness. He will free you from your debt. Because Jesus paid all at the cross. Take tail less time. Take tail less time. Full pay. Come to me, Reo Saka, Nikala Brando Kobo. Come to me. Come to me. I don't care who you are. Come to me. I'm not going to make an exchange with you. You're not going to pay me. Come to me. <laughs> My grace is free. It's, it's free. I'm not going to charge you money for this, for salvation. It's free. Come to me. Salvation is free. Come to me. It's by grace. Come to me. Don't say that you are not ready, my brother and sister. You that is watching me now, do not say, well, I will have time tomorrow. I will have time next week. I will have time in the future. You don't know tomorrow. Only one person that knows tomorrow is Jesus. You know yesterday. You know now. But you don't know tomorrow. It's Jesus that knows tomorrow. Don't say, well, I will have time, I will have time, I will have time. He's calling you tonight. Take a decision. Accept Jesus because he's calling you, brother. Come to me. Come to me. Don't say that you'll get time. Maybe, maybe tonight is the last time. Maybe tonight is the last night. How many people that are, that are that, let's say that way, how many people that pass away by COVID-19. Maybe two years ago, you know, they say, okay, after five years, after 10 years, I will accept Jesus. After five years, after two years, I will accept this invitation. You don't know how many people that God has already put on their ways to tell them about Jesus. You don't know how many evangelists, you don't know how many prophets, pastors, you don't know how many brothers, sisters that God set on their way to spread the good news, to, 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 to let's say this way, how many mailmen, how many mailmen that, that, that delivered this invitation to them in the house. 
deliver this invitation, deliver this invitation to them to say, God, God is calling you in the name of Jesus. He's calling you. He shall give you rest. He's calling you. He shall make you happy. He's calling you. He will change your name. Come to me. But those people didn't take this decision. They passed away without Jesus. Luther, where are they now? Brother, I don't know. Only Jesus knows. But I, one thing I know, if you accept Jesus, you will enjoy in heaven with him. You will enjoy in heaven with him. He's calling you, come to me. Don't say it's too late. Don't say I'll have time. Don't say tomorrow. Maybe tonight is the last night. Maybe this time is the last time. God is giving you a chance. Maybe it's the, it's the last chance tonight. You that is watching me now. Maybe it's the last chance. Come to me. Come to me. I will have a personal encounter with you. Come to me. I've been calling you so long. Yeah. I've been calling you for long. I've been calling you so long. I've been calling you for long. It's not for the first time I've been calling you. Come to me. Come to me. I'll strengthen you. You that is weak. Weakness, day, night, you so weak. A lot of weakness, confusion. Come to me, hallelujah. I will strengthen you. Come to me, I'll give you joy. Come to me, I'll change your life, hallelujah. Come to me, I'll lift you up. Mm. Hallelujah. Your, where you work now, your boss can give you a promotion. And, and, you know, another person, I don't know, the, the big boss, a bigger boss, the, the owner of, of this company, just call and cut and cut out and cut up your promotion. There's only one person when he lifts you up, nobody can draw you down. His name is Jesus. The one that Jesus raised up, the one that Jesus lift up, nobody can draw him down. Nobody can draw him down. This person, he's so faithful. He's been calling you tonight. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me and I'll change your life. Come to me, I'll lift you up. Come to me. I'll do things in your life. Things I will do in your life are things that you have never imagined. You have never expected. I've been calling you tonight. I said, come to me. Come to me. Because I'm the Alpha and Omega. Come to me. I will give you everlasting life. Come to me. Because I'm the author and finisher of your faith. Come to me. You don't need to be worried. Hallelujah. To deliver your life into my hands. Because I'm the word that become flesh. I'm the way maker. I'm the promise keeper. I'm the light in the darkness. Don't worry. If your life is in my hands, you will never be in the darkness again. Come to me. I'm the, I'm the author and finisher of your faith. Come to me. Come to me. I'll give you salvation. Come to me. Come to me. Jesus is calling you tonight, people. I want to pray for you tonight. You that is watching me, I don't know where. You that will be watching after, I don't know where and I don't know when. But God is calling you in Jesus' name. I was talking to God and he said to me, Luther, tonight you need to pray. There are people that will be watching or that are watching live now. They are Christian. They have already received salvation. But Jesus is calling them in a greater level. Greater level. Jesus is calling them in a greater intimacy with him. He's been calling you, brother and sister. Don't be rebuilt. He will bless you. He will do things that people never have never imagined. I want to pray for you. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as you touched my spirit, you touched my heart about this word, come to me. 
in French, lingua francesa. Venez à moi. Vous tous qui êtes fatigués et chargés, je vous donnerai du repos. Venez à moi, vous tous qui êtes fatigués et chargés. Venez à moi, come to me. Lord, if you put this word on my heart, it is because you're calling somebody tonight. You've been calling for you've been calling somebody to have a deeper relationship with you. Amen. You've been calling somebody tonight, Father God. You want to show him something. You've been calling somebody tonight, Father God, that is practicing something that you don't like. You want to freeze this person from this day. Oh, Father God, sometimes this person doesn't have enough strength to take a decision. But you, Father God, that gives strength to the weak, I'd like you to strengthen those people, Father God, to take our decision tonight. I want you to make those people understand, Father God, it's only in Jesus that has life. Out of Jesus, there's no life. Two weeks ago, Father God, you said to me, Luther, you need to start ministering about the son of the living God. About the son of the living God. About the, only, on, about the one that can save. He's the way. He's the life. He's the truth. He's everything. No salvation without you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, the same invitation that you made me in 2009. I believe that you can make the same invitation to everybody that is watching me now that don't know Christ, that know, don't know Jesus. People that will be watching after, hallelujah, that don't know Jesus. I want you, Father God, to give them strength to say yes to Jesus. Yes, I want to I wanna be saved. Yes, I want to go to heaven. Yes, I understand and I accept that there is nobody else that can give me salvation. It's only Jesus. Oh, Lord, people that are in church that need a greater level, another dimension, a deeper, something deeper from you, Father God. I want you to give those, those people, Father God, give them this permission, Father God, to have a personal encounter with you. They can, where, where they can hear your voice, like, I'm, like, I'm, like I hear your voice, Father God. Where they can see you in dreams, like I saw you in dreams. Somebody, God, Father God, that needs a touch tonight. Somebody, Father God, that needs, that needs a baptism of the Holy Spirit and the sign to speak in tongues, Father God. May that person receive it now in the name of Jesus. You that is watching me now, maybe it's not salvation you're expecting tonight. Maybe you're expecting a blessing. He's calling you to, he's calling you to give you salvation. He's calling you to give you blessing too. Father God, I want you to bless those people, Father God. They need you tonight, Father God. Change their heart, Father God. Make them know you in another level, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, Father. Praise the Lord, people. May God bless you. And I'll see you next time, next Saturday night at 9 o'clock for a Portuguese worship service and 10 p.m. 1010 English worship service. God bless you so much.